somewhere. Somewhere there's a chat. <clears throat> Good morning, everybody. Um, so I went to the pound store like last week, so I figured we'll do a haul. I do need a list. I haven't listed the Mikasa jewelry or dishes. I haven't listed my Louis Vuitton wallet that's like pretty sure it's going to sell for 200 or plus dollars. I actually lost it. It was in the bottom of a uh, bucket and I couldn't find it for like ever. And luckily I did have a garage sale this past weekend. I only made 200 bucks. I'm all only. I think I've made more. Um, but I think an old man kind of scared me that came to my garage sale. He was like, yeah, my wife works for the, um, Oh, I don't know, some money person in the in my town or whatever, state comptroller. Yeah. And he was like, um, something about how he casually brought up you can only have two garage sales per year in my town. So basically, like, how will I claim all the money that I've been making? I guess I thought I would combine it. Combine it. Thank you. It's that straightener. I tell you what, yesterday I did a video on this steam hair straightener. I did a review on it. I got it completely free. And whenever the person had emailed me, they were going to send me some kind of light thing, like some LED light thing. And I was like, yeah, I would love to review your product. I will do a YouTube video on it. And they were like, oh, well, what's your YouTube name? And so I sent it to them, and they were like, oh, we don't want to send you the LED thing. We want to send you a straightener. I think they could tell by my videos that my hair has been super frizzy, and I've kind of been ignoring it, I guess, because I guess blonde hair is fragile, but um, I do need to straighten it more because I have way too frizzy of hair. So... <clears throat> Well, I mean, I, I think I'm worried about having too many garage sales. I, my husband is like, well, why do you want to report it, Heather? Well, I do. I want to know how much I'm making. So, like, he did kind of scare me, caught, like, you know, paranoia, I guess. <clears throat> Thank you, Kim, for that comment. Um, where the heck did my chat go? Let's get into this haul because it's usually an hour long, right? Did I... I closed out the whole chat somewhere. Um, okay, I just never popped it out. That's all. <sighs> so I've been working on a real estate transaction, you guys. It did fall through. My buyers just didn't have the funds to compete with other buyers. Of course, school's summer's out, you know, or school's out, whatever. Um, so I've been MIA. But that's kind of a bummer. All right. Hey, Armani Pops 90s Kid Smith. Welcome. <clears throat> yeah, junk, junk trader. A lot of people say they, uh, yard sales are a lot of work. But, I mean, after you do it, and then after you donate everything and you get rid of junk, like, it's a great feeling. You know what I mean? I'm drinking out of Garner State Park, this coffee cup we got at the Frio River last year. Oh my gosh, it was so much fun. Okay, let's get into the haul. <laughs> Some kind of bummed. I'm like, uh, do I need to stop having garage sales? I'm going to get in trouble. So my first thing, I'm going to do this. Um, crap, I'm not organized. And I feel weird because my neighbors are walking out of their house and they're like looking at me. They're about to leave though. <laughs> ha ha. True story. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, you can see. I had to open my screen again. I got this clear tub. And uh, all the hard goods are 75 cents a pound. So typically these tubs are... I don't know, four to five bucks, and I got one for, you know, like a dollar or two, whatever it weighs. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's a really great feeling to have a garage sale. 
just prep for it the night before and it's not as bad if not the week before too right so my neighbors are still sitting in their truck and they basically can just see everything i'm doing but they're driving off now yay it's a rental house so like they're new neighbors and they don't know their schedule yeah i'm just sitting out in my garage doing a haul okay so first thing is this Barbie bag. Um, there is no holes. There's a couple little discoloring down there, but that's okay. Good morning, Harlan. It's so blasted hot. I'm sure you know that feeling. Yeah, so in the summer and being a big thrifter and I've had so many garage sales, I usually end the garage sale by like no later than two or three. Back in the day, I used to stay out to like four or probably even five, like almost, but I don't know. I've had so many garage sales. I feel like some people don't stop at mine anymore, even though I always have different stuff. My mother-in-law lives in a really good location, so I should go have one at her house, right? Anywho, so this next bag, I did look it up. It is a diaper bag. Oddly enough, that's kind of gross a little bit. Um, Eden was the child's name, I guess. This is um, Petunia Pickle Bottom. And some diaper bags, you guys, go for like crazy money. This one and it's Calicom. It's laminated. It's almost like that Barbie bag. I was obsessed with it. So if you look on Poshmark, check out the comps on this Petunia Pickle Bottom. Um, I'm going to clean it up, probably throw it in my washer. And what's cool about this one is when I had babies, I'm not having any more children. But this is kind of like a head pad to me, like when you change a diaper. And this spot isn't rough, so it's soft. So, like, if you're at the park or whatever, you can lay your kid's head on this. That's what I think this is for. You love that I talk about doing them. Were you the one that asked for more tips or something? I'm not sure. I can tell you if you run out of labels, just get that roll of tape, the white. Is it scotch tape? I don't know. The white tape that peels off. It's kind of like painter's tape, but white. Get that and white, write your price tags on it because it doesn't damage product. But I'll just like stick it on clothes, on the collar. And I'm not worried about people switching tags because I typically know my product. So, yeah, masking tape. Is that what it is? I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Amelia. Yeah, masking tape is a great cheap way to have your stuff priced. At a garage sale. <clears throat> I never even put up canopies. Like in Austin, everybody had canopies up at their garage sales. I guess it's really courteous, but that's too much work. I got a garage or sit underneath the tree, right? So I have purchased these before, and it was actually brand new. I am so frugal about the weight, you guys, that I literally tore off the top half of this packaging because I was going to use this for myself. We use these for chips, like to close our chips. I mean, I use these for um, gluing down projects, like everything, right? And they always break or you lose them. They're way better than plastic bag chip clips that are expensive and break. So yeah, like I'm so cheap. Like I'm, I can't even believe that I'm like telling y'all that. It's so embarrassing. Like I ripped that off so it wouldn't weigh at 75 cents a pound. And these probably cost like three or four bucks. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. So I'm actually going to keep those. <clears throat> I tried to give this to a guy, Emerson, that goes to the pound store because he likes to pick up army stuff and man stuff. But this says a uh, tactical series, Cybertron, and it's in really good condition. I just love to sell bags. Like I always sell bags, especially if they're organic or cotton, right? Or name brand ones too. So there it is. 75 cents a pound, so that was like a dollar or two, give or take. 
Um, I got this one, and you might have sold this one in my review video from yesterday. I used it as a prop, and then I wanted to put it back in the box to show you all that I bought it for $0.75 cents a pound. This little one has a $14 price tag on it. I'm like, does that say $0.14 cents or $14? Are you freaking kidding me? I don't know. Who would spend $14 on that? Unless it was your favorite saying and they donated it, right? Love you to the moon and back. And I put these as my um, thumbnail for the video, right? So, yeah, this one's heavier. It's solid. And this one's hollow. They're wood. Very cute. Love it. I thought also I'm going to get these to use as props on Poshmark maybe. Sometimes I lie out my butt about things. Like I want to do it, but I never do it. Oh, MG. I found something so cool, but I'm not even done with the bag and I'm looking over there. <clears throat> Crap. Somebody tell me, why did I get this? Y'all know I hate getting glass because sometimes it breaks. This actually has no chips or anything. Um, I just thought it was cool. It's literally for a punch bowl, and I don't know where the punch bowl was, but this was by the checkout counter, and I um, don't know why I got this. Hello, Casey. We will look it up and see if we can sell it, right? No clue. Is it a uh, punch scooper or something? Okay, I think that's everything in the bag. So the bag is just a little bit dirty, so I definitely picked it up. There's not really, not too much damaging. This thing is going to make me over $15 profit, and I spent about a dollar for it. So if not, it'll make me over 20 bucks. So I'm just hitting low there. I really uh, feel like I'll probably hit 20 to 30 bucks maybe-ish on a profit. So we'll list that on Poshmark. Um, it's cool. We're done with the purse. So I don't really even care about Disney. I know some Disney stuff does sell. Um, you definitely have to look it up. And I've never been to Disney World. Literally, I haven't. Either have my kids. Maybe we'll go one day. But a lady had these and she didn't want them. And I just thought they were really cool. I'm going to just look up comps for them to see if they do sell. Um, but if not, I have a goodie box that I need to ship off to my moderator, yard sale lover, Gina. Um, is that a sticker? Yeah, there's a Mickey Mouse sticker on that. Is there one on this one? No. Um, so I'll send her one. Does she want purple or blue? The only thing wrong with it is it did have a piece of tape with their name on the handle. So I think you can even just like scratch off some of this plastic and that'll come right off or you just try something else like a Brillo pad will probably take off that marker pretty a lot better, right? So we'll send Gina one of those. Jaina, Jaina. Um, I should have looked up comps on this, but anything to do with Barbie, like that was my time frame. Hey, Gina, do you want purple or blue? <laughs> Uh, I found this Barbie thing. It's weird, though. I think it's a pet shop, so it's full of, like, Barbie stuff. It kind of reminds me of the littlest pet shop toys, like what I had hauled previously. Oh, my gosh. Purple! Aren't they cute? Don't you love it? That cup is, like... I knew it was awesome. I was like, this is too cute. Oh, so here's like a, oh, it's so cute, you guys. Look at that. I'll have to look up these pieces. I don't know if they all go to it, but there's like a little moths bottle. There's like all these puppies. Do they say, they just say China on the bottom of them. Gina had a bunch of Barbie stuff recently. Do you see any of this? Look at this ball. Oh, shoot fire. I'm like dropping it. Look, it's cool. It's, what is this? Hold on. Yes, they do. Cool. What is this ball? 
Is that a like a ball for the animals? It's behind a, a mirror or in front of a mirror. That is so weird. Okay. Anyways. Ooh. Oh, look. And I found this. It's a sterling piece. And I'm glad I remembered it's in here. It's a little tiny Noah's Ark. I don't think this is James Avery, but it does have the engraving stir and then the letter C. For like copyright almost yeah Barbie fanatic as a kid who was it Woo! Barbie was around forever oh look this little bench opens super cool I did not look at the comps on this even if I made like a ten dollar profit off of it I'm okay with that I will rescue it as bona fide hustler says and uh, find it a new home because again, you guys, they like literally smash stuff in the trash compactor um, and stuff gets demolished. We get so much crap, right? So I got that and there's pieces all over the floor now. I'm just gonna set it over here and we'll pick it up later. Barbie puppy house and yes, toys for the dogs. <laughs> okay, what else? I didn't need this, but it was a Batman 48 piece value brand new. My kids love Batman. Ryland's birthday is coming up in July. I don't think we'll have a party, um, but whatever. We'll hold it for whenever. This probably should have gone in my garage shell recently, but it didn't. Oh, eek. Okay, I picked up this, you guys. And I didn't know what it was. Does anybody know what it is? Let me know in the comments. Because I know what it is. Um, this is, I mean, not a, too great of a seller. But to me, when I looked up the comps, it looked like it was okay. And it looks pretty vintage, obviously. And it's got this cute, like, marble or whatever block closer. What's, a, what's closer? Um, and FYI, I did already take out some of the stuff in this haul and throw it in my garage sale. So when I do find the receipt, it's going to be um, up here. It is right here. We actually are missing a bunch of stuff out of here. So I spent $37.70. And what is it? Put it closer. Well, yes, y'all can look up the name. If you look up the name, I can tell you what it is right away. But don't look it up because I'll tell you right now. It's by Warthog, W-A-R-T, Warthog, a Barbie workout center, LOL. Just kidding. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> no, Barbie didn't make anything with metal, right? It was all plastic. Uh, Warthog's or warthogsharp.com. I don't know if the website's still working, but this is a knife sharpener. So I think you put the knife right here. It, DIY guy says he wants it. They sell them on eBay. Okay, so like both of these here in the center sharpen it. I'm gonna have to test it out because it sucks when you have a dull knife. Hey, Trudy. Petunia pickle bottom diaper bag exactly like yours on eBay in the fall for $49. Yeah, Trudy. That's what it was like easily. I mean, mine's kind of a little stained, but not too bad. I know it'll bring me over a $10 profit. So hitting it high would be $20 to $30 profit take home. So yeah, she's right on the money right there, Trudy. Yes, ma'am. They do sell on Poshmark, too. So, all right. So, that's what that is. Um, it does have a little chip on here. I didn't see that, but that's okay. This sucker's heavy. I paid a couple of dollars for this. So, yeah. Make me an offer, DIY guy. I think they sell for like 50, 60 bucks, but I'll have to look it up again. I want yours. <laughs> that's funny. Wait, 
These were from my sister. Yeah, my sister gave us some clothes of her son, so I got these for Rai Rai. <sighs> okay. You can buy mine. Um, we might can just do like a PayPal transaction, right? Instead of the eBay transaction. Let me look up the comps and I will message you. Um, so you guys know I always pick up controllers now. They sell in garage sales all day long. And you can also get in-store credit at the game stores for these. Um, I think one controller even brought me $13 to $14 recently. But I think it was Xbox. Don't quote me on that. Um, but these older PlayStations, they wouldn't even take back my old PlayStation console at the game store once without the remotes. So I only can tell you that people were looking for PlayStation remotes or stuff to sell with the console because they get more money for it. And then why wouldn't I pick up a Sensi pack that is brand new? No, I do not use Sensi anymore. I use oils or organic products, and this is not organic, so I don't support Sensi anymore. That's just my opinion. Um, but these, they even went up in price, so just one of these is like $6 now. You melt it in your wax or whatever. My favorite one from Sensi, you guys, all-time favorite. They actually discontinued it so recently. Or it's only for the summer because it's called Beach. And oh my gosh, Beach smells up your entire house. It is amazing. So, yeah. Those um, bars do sell on eBay, you guys. So I wonder how much that one's good for. So this is a brand new True Religion. It's just dusty. It had the tags, you guys. This could be like a $10 or $8 profit on Poshmark. But since I only paid a dollar for it and it has new a tag, it's a fragrance bag. And you get it with a $79 purchase, obviously, or more. I went ahead and picked it up because I like to sell bags. Oh, look at this. I have two games in here. So I typically don't pick up games, but since I did go to Austin and I went to the reseller green room meetup, um, all the guys just kind of taught me like scan your barcodes, you guys, you know, that Amazon stuff. And then even so it still sells on eBay. So I did scan this and since it was new, it was weird. Like the whole box was there. Some of them look, the package is ripping. I need to be careful. Um, most of all the other boxes were opened, but this one was sealed and lo and behold, I happened to just find it and I scanned it and these sell for 35 to 40 bucks when I scanned it. Like that's what it told me. So, and there was only less than 10 sellers selling this exact product. Had they been selling 30 or more or 20 or more, I would have not have picked this up, but there was 10 or less sellers. So I picked it up, scan your barcodes. You can do it directly through the eBay app or the Amazon app with your cell phone. <clears throat> Here's the other game. Let me just grab it, right? So I'm thinking, who wants a Germany game, right? It looks pretty difficult to me. So what did I do? I scanned the barcode. And let's scan it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Hold on. I got to get some cucumber water real quick because it's hot as a mug out here. Okay. Oh, cell phone. Sorry, I got water on my leg. Okay. I don't even know if all the pieces are here, but hopefully they are because this is a good profit right here, right, right? With games that are histi history or geography, put homeschool in your titles. Makes sense. That's why I tell you guys, when you find um, a tan, do I have anything? When you find this color, 
put nude in it because it's a nude color. I wanted to find a pair of shoes or a purse. Like Casey Lakeman is a homeschool mom and she's specifically telling us to put that in the title. And that's why I say to put, not only put tan or cream, but nude color literally blew up. Like I am obsessed with nude colors. I have already told you guys a million times. Okay, so in case anybody doesn't know how to do this, um, you just open up your eBay app and I did sell two cards to one person. I need to ship that this morning. So you just go to that little camera right there on your eBay and you tap it. Well, one day, oh, okay, so it's down there. So scan barcode or image scan. I've never done image scan. I don't think it works that great or I don't know how to use it really. So we're gonna scan barcode. So now we have our scanner. And it's free, guys. It just comes with your eBay app, right? So there's one that only pulls up for $160. This one is new. But if you'll hit the filter and find the sold button down here, click it. Sold, and you can't hit sold without completed. So hit done. We have two that sold, one for $89 and one best offer under $150 with $20 shipping. And the one that sold for $89 with $15 shipping was used pre-owned. So let's just open it. What if we have like new pieces in here? Wouldn't that be cool, right? It's Kloss. I'll show y'all one more time the brand or the maker, whoever that is. Catan? Cat, Catan? Catan? I don't know. But, I mean, obviously, Casey Lakeman's right. Like, isn't there going to be way more people homeschooling? I mean, we've had so many school shootings. Like, I'm almost so scared to send my own kids to school, you guys. Like, homeschooling is going to blow up. Just wait. Especially if they don't start fixing it, like putting some metal detectors or something. I don't know. So we have the instructions. It does not look like it's brand new sealed pieces. But from what I'm seeing, I think we possibly do have all the pieces. Um, this is definitely, I would say, worth counting all the pieces. And usually game boards tell you how many pieces you're getting anyways, so. Uh, n wait, am I missing a dice? There's only one dice. Let me see. It might be hiding from me. Hopefully we're just missing a dice. Oh, no, there it is. Okay, we're good. Let's move along here. Hopefully we're not missing any pieces. Nude in the listings. Yes, ma'am. You're going to help me find it quicker. <clears throat> so, I'm excited about that. I don't really pick up game pieces. They have the info in the instructions. Yeah, it's either on the box or in the instructions, so we're good. Um, so, this actually had a really cute like suitcase but the button was broken on the suitcase and it was just kind of cheap but inside was a brand new bag of all the puzzles to this logan puzzle i mean who doesn't have a tupperware right I, just i'm cheap i didn't want the box i probably should have got the box but when you're shipping on ebay to me the box was just heavier and bulkier i've got to get better at shipping right so I only got the instructions and sealed bag of puzzles. It also has a tag in here somewhere that's really nice. Um, I'll show you when I find it. I picked up a velvet hanger. I love these because the spaghetti strap shirts, when I'm hanging them, they don't fall off. So heck yeah, I'm going to pay for pound by the pound on that. This is like, 
I mean, these videos are kind of daunting and very long, but it's kind of exciting pulling out all this junk, right? Because um, my next one is pretty good. If you scan it with your phone, it shows it's a good product. I'm going to pull it up. And what I have here is a record. Records. It's the 21 Pilots, which I know this band. Um, which one? I don't know any of these songs here, but um, they do scan. It has a barcode. We're gonna scan it. It's actually kind of fun, right? Like scanning stuff. You don't have to type it all in. Uh, Casey Lakeman says that she has those hangers. She loves them and it keeps stuff on it. Yeah, DIY guy says we homeschooled his kids. Awesome, how old are your kids now? Cause I think they're all grown up, aren't they? Thanks for the scanning tip. Was always wondering how to get that. Well, wow, I'm so glad you learned off that. Um, so immediately you pull up, I see a new one for $23.99, uh, pre-owned $20, um, new $30 plus shipping. Um, there is actually overly saturated, you guys. Be careful. See, I picked up something that is way, way saturated. I shouldn't have got this. However, I just thought it was cool. It's something current. Um, I'm actually not disappointed I'm buying that. But when you pick up stuff, do your research. Like I had said about the, um, like the Germany puzzle or the Germany um, game, don't pick it up if there's this many sellers. There's over 30 sellers here, you guys. See them? It's all the same cover. I mean, it may take, I mean, you can risk it and maybe beat everybody's price if you want to. That's how you would sell fast. Um, but otherwise, you may be sitting there for two to five years, right? Okay. I think we're going to have to go live to after this. Uh, whoa! 22, 21, 19, and 18. Do any of them live at home, DIY guy? Or did they all move out? <laughs> you're on a farm and you're way out there. So I wonder if those kids bounced. <laughs> okay, this was cool. I like this. It's going to sell. Um, probably needs to be cleaned up just a little bit. It's please sign our guest book. This would be cool, like for a green room meetup or something cool like that, right? An event. Thought it was really cool. Need to stop scratching it. It's a little scratched, so. What the heck is this? Oh, Gina, I got this for you. Unless it sells for like crazy money, of course I'm going to keep it, right? <laughs> um, but it's probably going to be oversaturated. I don't know. Anytime I freaking see Mickey Mouse, I always pick stuff up for Gina. I can't wait to ship her her package, and then maybe I'll stop picking up stuff for her. Or I'll just start collecting another package. So this is a vintage Disney bag. It is really dusty. It's not fading. It's dirt. Um, and I'm okay with that. Clean too many diapers, right? Um, so it's like that old vintage embroidered backed tag. See all the thread? And it's embroidered Disney. It literally, it's like not like, I mean, the black is perfect. All this is just dirt. I don't even know how I can express that any further. Um, but it's in really good condition after it is washed down with a wet washcloth. So unless somebody needs to wash it probably too. So I wonder if Gina's still here because she's going to like that. We'll throw that over there too. They grow up too fast. My two youngest are at home. Okay. Do you like it, Gina? Yeah. All right. So um, next is a palm thingy. I don't know what these are. I've never used one, but it's an electronic gadget, and I paid, like, change for it since it's 75 cents a pound. Ah, it does need batteries. 
these are oversaturated, you guys, and I didn't see a profit over 10 or 20 bucks on these, but I went ahead and got it um, just because I've never picked them up before. So it's got the leather case. It had the box, original box to it, but I didn't want it. Um, I got these. I don't know why I don't need them, but they were cool. They're brand new, like to put a name badge on. So there was only three. I needed to throw these in a garage sale, or I don't even know why I got those. This is a brand new pack of goodies. I personally would probably throw these in a washing machine. I'm probably going to keep these, but since they came from the pound store, I am going to wash them. Those things cost like me five or six bucks in the store brand new. And I'm actually needing some more, so I went ahead and got it. What is this to? Oh, this is the charging dock to the Palm uh, thingy that I showed you. They grow up too fast. Mm. Okay. Don't pick this up because just because I show it to you. I have not had a very good luck selling this brand. How do you say it? Antonine Ogner or whatever, however you say it. Um, but it's just a cute little black crossbody. And again, I pay 75 cents a pound. So I went ahead and got it. Entine or Entenine, I don't, Entenine, Ogner. Let me show you all the name if I can find it. Where did I see it? Oh, here it is. Uh, it's made in Italy too, so that helped me make my decision as well. This just needs to be wiped off. It's kind of dirty. Gross. <clears throat> Oh, check this out. It's brand new. And guess what? Guess what it does? I think it's brand new, right? They have it sealed. It tests water and um, they sell for 20 bucks or more. So I went ahead and got that to sell. I might have just broke it by throwing it, but. Um, okay, so I did pick up a vintage. Oh, crap. That one's broken. Is it broke? Or is that a from trash yay it's not thought that was my thing you guys are never going to guess who these are it's actually kind of cool that i found these well maybe maybe not um but i did pick up a vintage radio and i need to test it out i still haven't bought batteries i knew i was gonna need a notepad here for a reason Because I never go to the dollar store, and I'm totally going to go to the dollar store just to pick up batteries there. Because the batteries for even C and Ds are even still a dollar or two. If I go to Walmart, they're like four or more or plus, right? Um, so I got these purposely only to test out my radio. And then they're Pink Floyd. So Pink Floyd is cool. So there's one there, one there, and then I got Billy Joel, The Greatest Hits. There. So those are for testing purposes. And <laughs> I'm so frugal and cheap. Every year you have to buy your kids scissors for school. I'm gonna hand wash these in the sink. They're even with micro band, which means they're these are pretty expensive. Probably cost like six bucks or more. So I'll hand wash those and give them to one of the boys for school. <laughs> and then I thought this was cute. I don't need it. It probably should have gone in a garage sale. Um, but we'll look up the brand. It's pretty cool. And I thought Ryland could use this on a field trip this year, next year when school starts. It's like a little lunch bag. So I went ahead and picked it up. It's really clean. And then it says, well, it just says Morgan Home Fashions. Never heard of it, guys. And it's pretty clean. So the inside was like 
I don't even know if they ever used it. So I got that for us to actually keep. Next one, I'm all, this is like for my clubbing purse. I have one brown mini purse, or like if I go to a concert or something, um, these are great to have when you don't wanna take everything and anything, when you just need your ID, like a lip gloss, um, whatever. So I got this for myself. It's genuine leather. Um, so now I have a black and a brown. Honestly, I mean, my hands already feel dirty from touching everything. So I probably will take like a washcloth and wipe off this real leather just to clean it up a little bit. Um, but I don't even think it has a brand, is it? It's made in China. It's real leather. You can smell it. Um, but it's cool. Yeah, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. This is mine too. My husband saves so much money by me going to the pound store, doesn't he? <laughs> and then I love to pick these up. You guys have seen me haul these before. Somebody tried to sell it for a dollar in the pound store. Um, but when I worked in the medical supply, um, these sold all the time. We always had people coming in and looking for this for their elderly parents or anyone who's had surgery um, these socks are the best so if you go through that and you have a family member who's elderly or you know recovering from surgery and they have unsteady balance gait whatever you want to call it these are really great sellers um, does it have a barcode? I don't think so, but I wouldn't be surprised if I lotted up a couple of these. I don't find them too often. I don't know why. I just, I know about them and I know people love them. So I get them. Oh, look, here's Journey. I got one more tape. Journey's good too. Uh, Journey Infinity, somebody wrote. Let's see what song. Wheel in the Sky, Something to Hide, Winds of March, Can Do, Opened the Door. Okay. Is there songs on the other side? Okay. Yeah, there is. That's what I thought. I remember how to use a tape. The other side is Lights, Feeling That Way, Anytime, La Duda, and Patiently. Can't wait to jam out in my radio. My radio. Radio. Billy Joel, we didn't start the fire. Just picked up real leather Tiganello purse for 50 cents at my honey hole thrift shop. Cool. Um, so these are like jewel punchers. You have to have the machine for it. I didn't want to get the machine, so I threw the machine back and thought I would sell these in a garage sale. A lady almost bought uh, three packs that I have that are missing here. Um, and I had marked a dollar on each and then she changed her mind. So I would have flipped and made $3 off of her and they weigh like less than a dollar, but she didn't get them. So I have like five packs of these jewels. I bet Gina could use these for her um, junk books. Can't you Gina? These like little jewels would be so pretty. Oh my gosh, can I send you some of these and you put some on my junk book? <laughs> I can do that for you. All right, so don't ask me why I got this creepy little guy, but I've never seen him and I wanted to find out who he is and what he does. And you never know, some of these little, sorry guys, some of these little pieces may sell for a lot of money. It's actually like a robot, and he has an off and on button, but the batteries are dead, and he has a funky face. I want to look him up. I don't know what it is, and I probably won't ever find out who he is. Oh, it's got a charge. Oh my gosh, it even has a little charging dock. So he just looks so stinking cute. Does anybody know what this is? He has wheels. My kids have never owned it, so I don't know what it is. Um, I wanted to throw this back, you guys. It's an Armatron watch that is scratched, but all the diamonds are still there. 
So, and then when I read the back, um, what? Oh, it said Swiss, Paris, Thailand. I don't know. It's probably just a cheap um, watch. So I just went ahead and picked it up for 75 cents a pound. So it cost me nothing. There's that tag to that puzzle that I had got. I just went ahead and got the tag and not the broken box. Okay, does any, can somebody tell me what the heck these are? Let me grab. I have the cutest little buttons. There was a um, jar full of like vintage buttons. And I remember these. Does anybody know, do these go on your hair or your shirt? So the button flips and then it, oh, not that one. Hold on. Oh. Never mind. Well, do these go in your hair or your clothes? I thought they, okay. I thought they actually bent. Well, I thought they moved, but you actually do have to bend them. I thought they were shoes. What? They go on your shoes? Well, I have a couple of them. They were so stinking cute. Like, look at this vintage button. I don't have a use for them, you guys. And then look at these. We'll look them up. So now I got these. Oh, these ones clip. Look, is this for your shoe too? This is the one I was trying to tell you guys about. I have two that match and the diamonds are still there. These are like so vintage. I remember these when I was a kid, but I don't remember what we did with them. I'm not gonna put it in my hair. <laughs> That would look cute, right? Um, here's a little one. Somebody handmade these, I bet. Do they really go on your shoe? Look at these. They're so stinking cute. I fell in love with these. Okay, so here's two. There's a pearl heart in the middle. They have a bell. And then they have, like, the little... Yes, they would... Take a plain pump and dress them up. What? Interesting. So I knew they were vintage. I just had to get them, you guys. But these are cute. What do you do with these? Shoes, too? And then there's this cute one. And I thought I had a match to this one, but I don't think I do. Look at this vintage pin, you guys. I'm going to put it on my shirt. It's like a little star. It's so cute. And it's, um, you pop the back. So you can put this on anything, really. I'm all. Um, put it on. I told you this is fun going through this junk. Let's see if I can get it on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I love it. Look at it. It's so cute. The lace, I don't know. It has a pin. Yeah, it has a pin and it's lace. Oh, Gina, do you want these for your junk journals too? <laughs> they have to. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I just love them. I don't even know what to call them. Like, I wonder if they sell on eBay. Okay, so again, I got this tub for inventory. So I saved myself a couple dollars there. And then inside here. All right, where is it? Oh, I have them in the garage sale. Gina may want these too. She can actually have all these loose ones if she wants them. So they're vintage, but I have two boxes. Hey, Thrifty Christy, that are clear and they're brand new. So I have a whole, I have like two boxes of these bows with lace. They're for crafts or whatever you want to do with them. We'll send Gina a couple of those too. So she can put them on her junk journals. I doubt she's still here, maybe. But I have, I wish I could show you guys. I just don't want to get up and go get them because I know this video is already too long. <clears throat> All right. Oh, I should have weighed this as, um, this isn't closed. So I technically, I think, could have weighed this as the pound or the hard goods. So look, I found another hammock, you guys, but this one's super cool. And it's actually 
kind of brand new. So it's this cool like Indian Aztec print. I'm not seeing a hole or anything. This right here alone in a new like new would be over 30 bucks or 30 bucks or more. So I'm super happy I found that. Next clothing item, 4T. Let's see, Ryland's five going on six. This should have been thrown up in a garage sale, but maybe we'll list it on line. I don't know. These probably don't have a high profit, but it's worth listing. It's really, really good condition. Nike little boys. Right? It's such a cute hammock, Casey. It's awesome. Okay. Wow. Yes. Yes. Check this out. It's off the shoulder. Kind of reminds me of that country look that y'all told me in the other video. Ties on a sleeve. It's kind of long. I'm like, should I keep this? I would ruin it. So it's a size large. I don't need a large. So here's the brand. Never heard of it. Zanzia Collection. I actually think, I don't know, it's either brand new or it's been worn one time. I can't figure it out. This is super cute, you guys. Wow. Um, Here's a sweater. We actually don't have a lot of clothes, so probably, I don't know, five to ten more minutes and we're done with this video. So here's a billabong. And I didn't know that this California, I see this a lot, but I didn't know it's a Billabong brand, is it? Always? I had no idea. So Billabong is a surfing brand. And yeah, seeing all this good stuff makes me want to go to the pound store, but I can't go because I got too much stuff. I need to make some money, not spend money. It reminds me, I need to make a payment to the Austin trip, too. I was like, wait, I haven't made a payment yet. <laughs> um, so at the Goodwill actual store, they charge $5 for dresses, and I got this at the Pound store. Um, and it is that Uncle Frank. So I went ahead and got it since it was only like a dollar or two. I guess it's off the shoulder too. Really pretty. And paisley, floral. It's too much brown though. Too much brown. Uh, yeah, American Girl, Be Forever. And I think this is brand new because it has this little plastic tag. So I went ahead and picked this up. That's cool. It's like perfect for back to school, right? long sleeve. It is a size extra small six. Yay. OMG. I'm going to fit my big butt in this. No, I won't. I don't fit a size two, Heather. Do I? Yeah. I don't know what's going on with this. If I can steam that out or iron it or if it's ruined. I might have like uh, wasted my money on these. But they're so slimming by Chico's. And I thought the color was cool. I went ahead and got them. They look big. I'm going to put my big butt in these and see if they fit. <laughs> they are actually really short too. So I thought maybe these would be short enough for me. But I don't fit a two. Chico's is way different though. Just checked your vintage shoe clips on eBay. Wait till you see how much you can get for one set. Really? Come on. How much? <laughs> You're teasing me. Gorgeous blue nails. Thank you, Lola Chicky. They already chipped like the day after I painted them on the side, though, luckily. Capris? No. They're like literally for somebody short like me. 5'1", I think. Yeah, they're like uh, for a short person like me. They're not capris. Chico's is vanity sizing. Isn't that plus sizing? 
Because <sighs> Lord knows I'm a plus size in the hips. Yup. <clears throat> I need to go to the gym. Oh, well, I need to go to the gym. Why can't we just be happy with our the way we are? Um, so this is a crushed velvet. I don't know why I say crushed. I just know the word velvet. What the heck is the difference, Gina? What's the difference between velvet and the word crushed velvet? Um, so this is a velvet, and it's got this cute, adorable V-cut. So if you got the, all that cleavage, this is your go-to, right? I wouldn't know the feeling. Um, but... When I looked at the brand, Boston Proper, I love, love this brand, you guys. Some of it doesn't sell that great, but some of it does, and this is in excellent condition. I should probably try this on. I am plus size in the hips, no lie. Literally, I wear like a 12. 12 is a plus size. <laughs> That is regular velvet. Well, is crushed velvet like wrinkly or something? What is, I guess I need to Google it. Okay, honestly, I wasn't, I didn't like this. I don't like it because it's the cheap polyester fabric. But if you keep looking like, wow, whoa, isn't it pretty? And then, Oh yeah, that's why I got it. Man, this thing is way too long for me, or I would keep it. I know you can get it altered, but I never alter clothes. I just sell it and find something different. Look at how pretty this is. It even has padding. That's my go-to. Um, <laughs> it is a size six. However, it could probably be six to eight or 10 even probably. It's polyester and spandex, and it is by, I don't know how to say it, Bisu, Bisu, whatever. This brand is kind of like Boston proper. I think it's a hit or miss. It does sell pretty good. And, oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And I look, it's like no stains. There's no ripping or ombre. Did y'all know that this is called ombre i didn't know that till um about six years ago right before i had my uh last and final baby so my child looks like just some oil stains yeah ombre might need to just be washed but yeah that is very very light i think it comes off worse yeah I'm totally oily too. Um, bye, Bobby. Yeah, I have like just four things. You're not missing nothing. Thanks for hanging out, Bobby. Um, yeah, I was thinking of Lola Chicky. Her first name is Amy. That's it. There we go. There's Lola Chicky. She is here. Okay. Love Ombre. Yeah, I mean, yep, I didn't know. Some girls told me. I see it does have like a few little oil spots, so I might need to wash it. But I mean, when you list it, I doubt that comes out in the pictures and I probably won't wash it. Just sell it as is. It's got minimal wear, very lightly used. Honestly, I think it was worn maybe two times, if that. So yeah, make sure you put ombre, O-M-B-R-E in your listing because People are obsessed with ombre, like I'm obsessed with nude, nude color. My mom will be listing that on her Poshmark. These are so cute. They're little boy uh, sweats. They're DKNY size eight. I totally am gonna probably keep these for Rylan. I don't know, just not high of enough resell. He's hitting a six year old, but maybe these will fit like a seven, I don't know. Maybe we can pull up these as shorts if they're too long. So it is pretty, isn't it, Amelia? It's so pretty. If that had been any other cheaper brand, I probably wouldn't have gotten it. But Bisu Bisu is, they, get, they have some nice clothes. 
So obviously I always pick up new at tags, you guys, for the most part, unless it's like a dollar store product. Um, but this is a new at tag little baby hat, John Deere. We'll see what those sell for on eBay. I mean, I don't know if it's worth somebody to buy this oh, on Poshmark because of the shipping alone is too high. But I mean, if I sold this for five or six bucks on eBay, I'm cool with that. <clears throat> um, I picked up these Gap jeans because yeah, they're almost my size. They're a size 10. But they're like some Capri kind ones. I don't know. I'm going to try them on. They are, I definitely wear a 10 to 12. So I don't know if these are going to fit me. So Gap. They're, hell, I probably could even fit into like 12 to 14, but not all the time. 14's cutting it a little too big, but it depends on the brand. Um, Okay, last two items, nothing special. This one is a swimsuit cover-up, and I freaking love, love, love the dark blue. It's also like terry cloth, and it's from The Gap, which is an expensive store, in my opinion. It's Medium, which is a super good brand for Poshmark. Um, and the last one, I don't know this brand. These... Probably should have gone. Yeah, I do know this brand actually. Grace. I don't know where they sell it, but I only got it because of the cute embroidering. Um, but I don't really list little kid clothes too often. They're just super cute. Hopefully, they're pants. No, I think these are like capris. It's like going to be too late to even list these, but they are freaking adorable. I have like a special spot for little girl stuff since I will never be having a daughter ever. So yeah, embroidered. And that's it guys. Now I'm going to clean up this mess and get to listing. So I probably will go live after the boys get home and we have lunch. So if anybody wants to go live, I think we can probably do that. Um, so we'll see you later. And let me know if you have any questions or comments in the um, chat box below or the comment box. Have a great day and good luck listing and selling. Bye-bye.